I love this word in the Bible. But for God. Oh, hallelujah. If you understand that, meditate on But for God. My situation is so bad. But for God. My situation is so terrible. But for God. My challenges are so, so horrible. But for God. People of God, all through the Bible, people say that, hey, I've gone through this problem. I've gone through this problem. I've gone through this challenge. But for God, oh, hallelujah. The but for God is working in your life. In this morning, I tell you, in Jesus' name, doesn't matter what way your situation, doesn't matter what are your challenges, doesn't matter how the condition is, doesn't matter how dry, how worse, how dirty, doesn't matter. But for my God, can I even have it? Glory to God. But for God, I worship a God who is but for God. He can involve into your situation. He can peep into your situation. He can walk into your situation. He can challenge your situation. He can settle your situation and bring a solution to your situation. That's what is called but for God. Hallelujah. All through the Bible, people suffered. All through the Bible, people gone through the challenges. All through the Bible, people undergone certain instances. But for God, hallelujah, there is a deliverance. But for God, there is no provision. But for God, there is no healing. But for God, there is no division of the rivers. But for God, there is no division of the seas. But for God, there is no companionship. But for God, there is no blessing. But for God, there is no prosperity. But that God is telling you, and me for the next six months god will change amen. your future provided you take it serious amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah every every promise of god comes with a condition amen, amen. every promise of god come if you do this I will do that. Now God is challenging you and me. Hey, I am going to be your maker. I am going to be your creator. I am going to do things provided you come to my terms. Amen. Glory be to God. That means you know how to give up yourself unto the Lord. That means uh, your mind should fill uh, with the promises of God. Now what you're seeing is not real. What you're going to see is more real because I'm talking a creator who can establish you back where you were and he can increase you more than because you have a maker. You have a creator and the maker. Oh, I am happy today. Glory be to God. Jesus, but for God. Bible is full of stories how God rescued people. Bible is full of stories how God delivered people. Bible is a full of stories how God empowered people. Hey, when you see nothing there, God creates everything. Hallelujah. That's my God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. When you, when you think that all doors are closed, that's what God is saying. I am going to open a way that nobody can close. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are coming here for a purpose. We are coming here for an empowerment. Church, I believe, and I grown up, church is a place of empowerment. Hallelujah. This is what the church is. Church will empower you for the rest of the week so that you can be nourished, you can be cherished, you can be fed, you can be empowered, and go on all the way and come back with the voice of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That is what the church is. That's what I'm very, very serious about my calling of the church. Church is not just a place. You will come back, hello, bye. That's not the church. Church is not a social club. Church is an empowerment place of the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Church is a place of empowerment. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. People of God. There's so much we have to learn. We just very, very catch. I please understand my heart. I'm not here to speak against anyone. I'm not here to hurt anyone. I have here to tell you something. Hey, there's so much of power in this place. Hallelujah. There's so much of empowerment in this place. This is the body of Christ. There's nothing else in this world called as a body of Christ except the church. And people have to come to the church. People are to gather to the church. People are to have fellowship with the church. It is not me, the Holy Spirit of God. Kept the condition.
condition for people to come into this place. Glory be to When you see church like this, I tell you, your life will change. Amen. Hallelujah. My life changed because I know the value of church in my life. Glory be to God.